Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing NAD's C658 uh, streaming preamp. This feature rich, quality rich product is astonishing for the price. NAD's classic sort of design, um, uh, faultless approach to sort of focus on its quality rather than the aesthetic is implemented in this wonderful, wonderful product. It's got Blue OS streaming, which with that, of course, with that operating system overlay, it'll support 15 or 16 different streaming services. It's got Bluetooth on board. Um, it's got digital ins. It's got a phono stage. It's got everything that you may need. So it's a wonderful hybrid of, of NAD's uh, wealth of talents in the traditional analog preamp domain and their wonderful talents in their streaming as well. So to see that hybrid done so beautifully for such a wonderful price is why I'm so proud to share this with you today. Okay, NAD's Classic Series. Their boxes are very muted, brown. Okay, we've got a nice little splash of colour with their logo, but they have no real attention to uh, detail as far as their packaging. It's functional, and that's good. On um, both ends we've got NAD model numbers, and scannable information along with its barcode. On one side is a line drawing of the back of the amplifier and it features some of the things we're going to discuss and um, that's the modular design. This product to keep it current or maybe allow for some features that uh, you may have specifically, like an HDMI input, that module can be added. So if it's part of a stereo that's connected to a TV, it's very easy to add that and uh, plug your TV in via uh, audio return. There's an emulation of the scannable information and serial number on the other end, and then a line drawing of the basic front. It's here that it alludes to many of the other things that this is capable of, including high resolution audio, MQA, which is probably unique in its price and features, and um, uh, Bluetooth X or HD or something like that. Uh, Bi-directional by the way, so you can stream in high definition to it and out again to good quality headphones. Um, well, it's on the top that really there's something we have to uh, point out. Now there's a couple of things. The easiest one is this. This is shipped factory sealed, so with it it doesn't actually have a New Zealand power cord. Uh, they're supplied separately typically. The big sticker over here though is the one we really need to take uh, into account and that's please the very first thing you need to do is be patient, set this up and do a network based update. It's critical. Uh, most of the features that are, are current and, and beautiful and makes it so good are enabled or, up, or brought up to speed with this internet update. Okay. So without further ado let's have a look. Opening something like this is very, very straightforward. It's a simple approach as far as the packaging goes. Like anything uh, that's uh, sealed with sellotape, just nick it and tear. For those that um, may have a heavy hand with their craft knife, the top of the product is protected with an additional layer of cardboard. Taking that out and having a look, we see a couple of things that are worth uh, touching on. The first is a basic uh, connection and setup guide and an introduction to Blue OS and other things like that in, in, in the first bit of printed information. The second part immediately talks about how to do an internet based update and that's critical for the operation of the product. Um, off to this side We've got an accessory pack and a nice little sort of pull-out card sleeve. In the accessories is a USB to 3.5mm adapter. Now that's not just an adapter, there's a little bit of uh, circuitry and wizardry in it. That's specific to the uh, microphone that we see here. This microphone is part of NAD's Dirac Live offering for this product. Dirac gives the the room correction capabilities and brings that to another level and I'm pretty confident that's unique in anything of this price. It's also got a couple of power cords, both of which are useless to me. We've got one for Singapore and one for the US. Uh, again, I was lucky enough to have a carrier bag full of power cords delivered. Over this side we've got the more interesting accessories. Uh, there is a cardboard sleeve that when pulled off reveals the uh, remote. Um, 
The remote control is basic, uh, it's all it really needs to be, I'll be honest, with most of the functions being utilised via a tablet or a smartphone, the remote controls don't need to have all the elaborate features on board. It's still got a nice look and feel to it, and the thumb can easily navigate to the most used uh, volume and other features, both in the left and right hand. There's um, some AA batteries, and not one but two uh, wireless adapters. Now that enables, uh, these are utilised for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and the unit is capable of dual band wireless. Uh, but please, of course, if you get the opportunity, always uh, run a network cable to a device like this. Nevertheless, it's 2.4 and 5 gig. Now, although it's not particularly heavy, it's probably important that we just roll it over and take the box off the product, not the product out of the box. There's a, by the way, just a big desiccant bag in the back there somewhere. Rolling it onto its edge and removing the two pieces of closed cell foam is relatively straightforward. The bag is closed at the bottom with uh, a circular sort of sticky label. It's um, pretty straightforward to remove. And sliding it out of the bag is a process of just kind of you know, slipping it each side, putting it onto one of the edges. Uh, what it's also taken off in the process is um, this sort of synthetic polish bag that would have protected the front. Of the okay, so looking at this for the first time. Uh, it's simple and elegant design is the most uh, obvious at this stage. You can see that they have not you know, there's no extruded aluminium this or a shiny polished something else. Uh, it, is, it is very much part of NAD's classic series, and with that, a more muted basic design. It, it shows NAD's logo, and then beneath it, uh, a power switch. Now that's a, a relay, obviously. What we've got here is the ability to navigate through all manner of features within the preamp setup and other things like that, but also um, navigate through your music library and other things uh, which is emulated on the remote and on the uh, Blue Sound app. You've got up, down, left, right, and then in the middle, an enter. Beside that is a six and a quarter headphone jack. Now, this is actually a really well thought out headphone amp. Um, many products, I guess, have a headphone output as a bit of an afterthought, so it's nice to know that NAD has focused some attention on the quality of that. There is a large uh, display. This is full colour and it's protected by one of those little sort of sticky things. I love taking those off, it's great. Um, the display is uh, very easy to navigate. Again, uh, colour. Um, it alludes to all manner of things across that display. Um, and, and please hang around for some photographs. I'll, I'll um, turn it on, light it up and we can take a few photographs and so you can see what it looks like. Hidden in there is an IR sensor for the remote control and beside that is the source left and right. Through the setup of this preamp, you can deselect or turn off uh, inputs that you're not going to use, making the left and right source very quick and snappy. If you're only using three or four inputs, then turn the rest off, and then you can very quickly uh, snap between those inputs using the left and right. Finally, we've got uh, NOD's volume control. Uh, this is a plastic volume knob. However, it's got a good weight and feel to it. There's a nice little balance of resistance and flexibility there. Um, in the middle we've got obviously BlueOS streaming DAC and its model number which is of course is the C658. So tilt it forward you're going to see a couple of things. The first is a MDC logo and again we're going to, it, it alludes to what we will see at the back. Also ventilation. This preamp is wonderful in its operation but with all of the processing on board for streaming services and the uh, digital to analog converter, I mean, it's got a uh, Saber, ESS Saber, 32 bit DAC on board, all of these things, hugely well appointed. It runs warm, so it's good to see that they've uh, considered that with the ventilation side of things. It's got a lovely fit and finish, by the way. The quality and build is excellent, and it sits well, you know, firmly without any twist or rattle on a surface. It's relatively deep, and I'll be honest, it needs to be. To get the circuit topography balance right of a product like this and move the noisy things like power away from things that may be affected, it's good to see that they haven't tried to make a very compact product. 
they've utilised its space well to lay things out appropriately. Okay. Looking at the back, this is where the magic happens. And although blanked off, these MDC uh, modules are probably the one of the most important. As everything evolves in our industry, it's wonderful to see that NAD have incorporated a series of modules that allow any number of different inputs and outputs to be added as you require them. Uh, there's an HDMI one, which is probably the most obvious, as people use uh, SACD from a Blu-ray player as a high-end source and want to put it into a specialised DAC like this. Also, of course, could be utilised for the audio return channel from a TV. There's also um, balanced inputs that are available and other things, all part of NAD's lineup, and they're very well resourced, very well thought out additional modules that can be added. Um, looking at the sort of fixed inputs and outputs, the first is some service stuff. Now, ignore it. Should there ever be a problem or force a software update, this is actually where it's done. There's a rear USB. Now, that's utilised for any number of different things. The most obvious, of course, is the uh, microphone input for the Direct Live, but it can also be utilised to provide something with 5 volt power, or perhaps even to charge a phone or something if required. Above the USB there are two optical inputs, both labelled Optical 1 and 2. And above that, the first of the two wireless um, antennas. Uh, very easy to fit, and of course being dual band, it's got the two. There's a LAN, or network socket. Now that's, again, very important. Anybody who's streaming anything of credibility should be looking at uh, hardwiring of these, these products. There are two coaxial inputs, marked 1 and 2, and there's a dedicated phono preamp input, uh, and above it a ground for the, for the turntable. This is a moving magnet preamp. There's two line inputs, again, just labelled line 1 and line 2, and if I understand the operation correctly, you can assign or, or re-label that to anything you might like. If you wanted to say CD player or streamer or, or some other thing, away you can go. Then it has the first of the outputs. Now this is a fully balanced circuit design, so it has a balanced output, both left and right. Beside it is a single pre-out, left and right, and beside that are, are two mono subwoofers. Within the setup of the preamp, you can uh, play around with um, equalization and frequency response of the subs. And it's wonderful to see that they've added that in a preamp. There's IR in and out, and there's a trigger in and out, of which probably the most useful is the trigger out, allowing this, when turned on, to also turn on power amplification and other things like that. There is a IEC power socket. Uh, a fuse and spare fuse beneath it, and above it, a simple enough rocker switch. Okay, so, there we have it. NAD's C658. Stunning stereo streaming DAC preamp. Unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.